Lots of people have a little bit of enigma about them, and that's a good thing. Having a little bit of mystery about you makes you appealing. It's good to be an open book, of course, but not too open, you know? But the people in this video maybe took things a little too far. Because these people are so bafflingly enigmatic, they even confuse scientists. These are 15 mysterious individuals throughout history that science can't explain. Number 15. D.B. Cooper If you enjoy spy or investigative thrillers, the name D.B. Cooper might ring a bell. He's the notorious figure who hijacked a Northwest Orient Airlines flight in 1971, a mystery that remains unsolved to this day. Cooper was described as a quiet man in his mid-40s, dressed in a suit. Before the flight, he calmly ordered a drink in the airline lounge. However, once airborne around 3 p.m., Cooper handed a note to a flight attendant claiming he had a bomb in his briefcase. He instructed her to sit beside him, which she did out of fear. After revealing a briefcase filled with wires, he gave her another note to pass to the captain. This note demanded $200,000 in $20 bills and four parachutes. When the plane landed in Seattle, Cooper exchanged the 36 passengers for the money and parachutes, keeping some crew members on board. He then ordered the pilot to fly towards Mexico City. Somewhere between Seattle and Reno, around 8 p.m., Cooper opened the rear door and parachuted out into the night with the ransom money. Despite a thorough investigation by the FBI, Cooper vanished without a trace. His true identity remains unknown, and to this day, no one knows if D.B. Cooper was even his real name. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Baba Vanga. Next on our list is someone a bit more familiar if you believe in clairvoyance and the ability to see the future. Baba Vanga. This Bulgarian woman was believed to possess the gift of prophecy. Remarkably, she was blind from childhood, yet she gained fame in the 70s and 80s for her supposed ability to predict the future. Living most of her life in Bulgaria's mountains, Baba Vanga allegedly foretold several significant events, including Stalin's death, the Chernobyl disaster, and the collapse of the Soviet Union. Her fame grew so much that she was placed on the state payroll, complete with secretaries and a panel to interview those seeking her predictions. However, not all of her predictions were spot on. For example, she reportedly predicted that the 1994 World Cup final would be played between two teams starting with the letter B, but the final match was actually between Brazil and Italy. Her followers claim she predicted the exact date of her own death, saying she would die on August 11th. And indeed, she passed away on August 11th, 1996. Number 13. The Green Children of Woolpit. We conclude this list with a story that might be familiar to those who frequent the darker corners of the internet. The Green Children of Woolpit. This strange tale dates back to the 12th century in the village of Woolpit, Suffolk. Villagers reportedly discovered two children with green-tinted skin who appeared extremely agitated and spoke in an unknown language. The children were taken in by Sir Richard de Conn, who offered them food, but they refused to eat anything at first. After a few days, they found green beans in Sir Richard's garden and ate them straight from the ground. The children lived with Sir Richard for several years, gradually adapting to a normal diet, which led to their skin losing its green hue. They also learned to speak English and shared vague details about their origins. After being baptized, the boy fell ill and died shortly after. The girl, later known as Agnes, continued to work for Sir Richard for many years before marrying Richard Barr, the Archdeacon of Ely. This strange tale reminds us that not everything in our world can be easily explained, leaving some mysteries for science to ponder. Number 12. Tank Man China's rise as a technological and economic powerhouse today is well known. But in 1989, the country was in turmoil. Students and workers across the nation were protesting against poor living conditions and rising inflation. The government decided to take a harsh stance, 
leading to the infamous June 4th incident where armed troops and tanks opened fire on demonstrators trying to prevent their advance into Tiananmen Square. The death toll from that day is estimated to be in the hundreds, possibly thousands, with many more injured. The following day, as the military began to withdraw from Tiananmen Square, an event unfolded that would become one of the most iconic moments of the 20th century. A lone man dressed in a white shirt and black pants stepped in front of a column of tanks, blocking their path. Despite the tanks revving their engines and attempting to maneuver around him, he stood his ground. At one point, he even climbed onto the lead tank, pounding on the hatch and seemingly speaking to the soldiers inside. Eventually, two civilians rushed in and pulled him away from the street. This brave individual, soon dubbed Tank Man, became a symbol of resistance. However, his identity and fate remain a mystery to this day. In the aftermath of the protests, thousands were arrested and detained, some for life, while others faced execution. Whether Tank Man was among them is still unknown. Number 11. The Man from Torrid the story of the man from Torrid is one that continues to baffle those who hear it. In 1954, a man arrived at Haneda Airport, now known as Tokyo International Airport, and was described as a Caucasian man with a beard and light skin. Everything seemed normal until he presented his passport to immigration officers. The passport appeared genuine, but it was issued in a country called Torrid, a place that didn't exist. Even stranger, the man carried a checkbook from a non-existent bank, and the company he claimed to be visiting had no knowledge of him. Despite his insistence that he had a scheduled meeting and that Torrid was a real country located between France and Spain, the officers were perplexed. When shown a map, he pointed to the region now occupied by Andorra, but he was confused when Torrid was nowhere to be found. The man was detained and placed in a hotel room under guard while officials figured out what to do with him, but the next morning he had vanished without a trace, leaving no signs of how he escaped and taking all his documents with him. To this day, no one knows who he was, where he came from, or where he disappeared to. Number 10. Robert Johnson Learning a new skill can be frustrating. And no one knew this better than Robert Johnson, who struggled with the guitar in his early years. Johnson, who passed away in 1938, is now remembered as a blues legend and an unparalleled guitarist, influencing everyone from the Rolling Stones to Muddy Waters. However, his journey to mastery was anything but smooth. In the early 1930s, Johnson was considered a mediocre guitarist at best. One of his contemporaries recalled that people would recoil when he played. But after disappearing on a journey across the Delta for two years, Johnson returned as a completely transformed musician. He played for those who had once mocked him, leaving them stunned by his incredible improvement. Johnson's newfound skills were so extraordinary that many found it impossible to believe he had made such progress in such a short time. This led to rumors that Johnson had made a deal with the devil to gain his extraordinary talent. In May 1937, he released Crossroad Blues, a song in which he described meeting the devil at a crossroads. The legend grew as Johnson made more references to the devil in his music and met an untimely death at the age of 27. Some even believe that Crossroad Blues is cursed, as several bands who have covered it have experienced misfortunes, leading many to avoid playing the song altogether. Number 9. Grigory Rasputin Grigory Rasputin was anything but ordinary. Born into a peasant family in Siberia on January 9, 1869, he would go on to wield significant influence in Russia during one of the country's most turbulent periods. Rasputin's life took a dramatic turn in 1897 after a profound religious conversion at a monastery, which earned him a reputation as a monk despite not holding any official position within the Russian Orthodox Church. By 1903, Rasputin had made his way to St. Petersburg, where his enigmatic presence captivated many prominent figures. Two years later, in 1905, he met Tsar Nicholas II and Empress Alexandra. At that time, the Russian monarchy was under immense pressure, not least because the royal couple's only son, who had hemophilia, was seriously ill. After an injury left the young prince close to death, Rasputin was summoned, and to everyone's astonishment, the mysterious monk seemingly healed him. 
Recognizing Rasputin's importance to their son's survival, the Tsar and Empress invited him to join the royal court. Rasputin quickly became a powerful figure, with many believing that he wielded more influence over the royal family than the Tsar himself. Despite widespread concern about Rasputin's background and the source of his power, the Empress remained steadfast in her trust, convinced that Rasputin was essential to her son's well-being. Rasputin's influence grew, as did his notoriety. Rumors spread that he was the true ruler of Russia, and his survival of multiple assassination attempts only added to his legend. In 1914, a woman stabbed Rasputin in the stomach, leaving him gravely wounded. Yet, after surgery and a period of recovery, he emerged seemingly unscathed, further fueling the mystique surrounding him. However, Rasputin's luck would eventually run out. On December 30, 1916, Prince Felix Yusupov, along with other members of the Russian elite, orchestrated his assassination. Rasputin was lured to Yusupov's home, where he was poisoned with cyanide-laced tea and cakes. Astonishingly, Rasputin appeared unaffected by the poison. When the poison failed, Yusupov resorted to shooting Rasputin in the chest. Even then, Rasputin reportedly got up and tried to escape, only to be shot again in the courtyard. To ensure his death, his body was wrapped in cloth and thrown into a river. And his mysterious legacy continues to captivate historians and storytellers alike. Number 8. The Man in the Iron Mask While modern superheroes wear masks to protect their identities, a mysterious figure in 17th century France was forced to conceal his face behind an iron mask, though he had no extraordinary powers. Known only as the Man in the Iron Mask, this political prisoner was held in several prisons across France during the reign of King Louis XIV. Despite centuries of speculation, the true identity of this masked man remains a mystery, as he was reportedly seen by only one person, his jailer. Imprisoned for the first time in 1669, this enigmatic figure was moved between various prisons before eventually being confined in the Bastille in 1698. He died there in November 1703, with his burial taking place the very next day. Over the years, countless theories have been proposed about who the man in the Iron Mask might have been. Some suggest he was an English nobleman, while others speculate that he was a relative of King Louis XIV, possibly an illegitimate son or even an older brother. Despite extensive research and numerous theories, the true identity of the man in the Iron Mask remains one of history's most enduring mysteries. Now it's time for the sweet topic. When a crowd gathered at a sports stadium to watch a game, all they expected was to watch a good game. But when looking at the photo of the crowd, something peculiar was noticed. Something you've probably spotted while I have been waffling on. The two rather mysterious people at the front don't appear to have faces. Now that's not normal, is it? What's extra enigmatic is that this photo was taken before the days when Photoshop was literally everywhere and was seen publicly. Could it be a camera fault, a trick of the light, or something more sinister? What do you think? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 7. Tommy Wiseau, The Enigma of the Room Tommy Wiseau is a filmmaker who is widely known, though not necessarily for his filmmaking talents. Instead, Wiseau has gained fame for the opposite reason, his notorious film, the Room, released in 2003, is often hailed as one of the worst movies ever made. Despite its poor reception, The Room garnered a cult following, and as its infamy grew, so did the curiosity surrounding Weezo himself. This is where the real mystery begins. One of the most puzzling aspects about Weezo is his origin. No one really knows where he is from, even to this day. Weezo has claimed various backgrounds. He has mentioned being from Europe, Wikipedia lists him as American, and Wiseau has also claimed to have lived in France and in New Orleans and Chalmette, Louisiana. Another enigma surrounds the source of his funds for making The Room. Despite the film's low quality, it had an estimated budget of $6 million, leading to wild speculations. Some believe Wiseau financed the movie through illicit means, such as drug dealing or mob connections, but the truth remains elusive. 
Regardless of the mysteries, Weezo has achieved a sort of legendary status in Hollywood. His life, along with the making of The Room, was even depicted in a film, with James Franco portraying Weezo, a role that earned Franco a Golden Globe. Number 6. Jack the Ripper, the Unsolved Legend If you're drawn to crime stories and dark mysteries, then you're likely familiar with the tale of Jack the Ripper, the notorious serial killer who terrorized London's East End, specifically the Whitechapel area, between 1888 and 1891. Jack the Ripper is infamous for murdering five prostitutes, but some accounts suggest he may have killed as many as 11 or 12 women. Each of Jack's victims was found with their throats slashed and their bodies gruesomely mutilated, suggesting that the killer had a detailed knowledge of human anatomy. Despite being one of the most infamous serial killers in history, Jack the Ripper was never identified. His name likely wasn't even Jack. The moniker comes from a series of taunting letters sent to the police, signed by Jack the Ripper. The true identity of this killer remains one of history's greatest unsolved mysteries. Number 5. Aleister Crowley, the Occult Icon Aleister Crowley was far from ordinary. He proclaimed himself to be a magician with the power of Buddha, a statement that encapsulates the eccentricity of this enigmatic figure. Born in 1875, Crowley was the son of a devout evangelical preacher, but he soon developed a strong disdain for religion. Dropping out of school, he pursued a career as a mountaineer before delving deeply into the occult. In 1898, Crowley joined the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, a secret society dedicated to the study of the occult. However, he was eventually expelled from the group for dueling. Crowley's wealth allowed him to indulge in his whims without much consequence, and he channeled his free-spirited nature into founding his own religion, the Order of Thelema, which followed the rule, do what thou wilt. Crowley's reputation in the occult world grew, and he became increasingly mysterious. He bought Bolskin House, a secluded manor in Scotland, where he could perform his satanic rituals in peace. However, after leaving the house for a trip to Paris, he allegedly neglected to dispel the twelve kings and dukes of hell that he had summoned, leading to disastrous consequences. The housekeeper's two children died suddenly, and another employee reportedly tried to murder his family while intoxicated. Even after changing owners, the house remained haunted, with one army general who purchased it committing suicide in 1965. Later, Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin owned the house but spent little time there, handing it over to a friend who claimed to hear unexplained noises and see ghostly apparitions. Crowley's life remains steeped in mystery, and his dark legacy continues to intrigue even after his death. Number 4. The Poe Toaster – A Mysterious Tradition Edgar Allan Poe remains a literary icon, celebrated for his works that continue to captivate readers. After his death in October 1849, the world moved on, but one mysterious figure wasn't ready to let Poe's memory fade. Beginning around 1949, a century after Poe's passing, a ritual emerged that lasted until 2009. This enigmatic individual, known as the Poe Toaster, would visit Poe's grave every year on his birthday, January 19th, and honor the writer in a unique way. Dressed in a trench coat and hat, the Poe Toaster would arrive at Poe's burial site in Baltimore, Maryland, carrying a bottle of cognac, a glass, a note, and three red roses. The ritual was always the same. The figure would pour a glass of cognac, offer a toast to Poe, and then leave the rest of the bottle, along with the note and roses, at the grave. The significance of the three roses is believed to represent Poe, his wife Virginia, and his mother-in-law Maria. The choice of cognac remains a mystery, as Poe never mentioned the drink in his writings, leading some to speculate that the cognac held personal meaning for the toaster rather than for Poe himself. This tradition, which continued for 60 years, sparked endless curiosity about the identity of the Poe toaster. Was it the same person all those years, or perhaps a group of dedicated followers? Could it have been someone connected to Poe's life? The mystery remains unsolved, even after the ritual ended in 2009. In 2016, the Maryland Historical Society revived the tradition, holding an annual competition to select a new Poe Toaster. 
While the identity of the new toaster is kept secret each year, the original mystique surrounding the ritual has somewhat diminished, leaving the legacy of the original Poe toaster as one of the most intriguing literary mysteries of the 20th century. Number 3. Gil Perez, The Teleporting Guard Teleportation is often seen as the stuff of science fiction, but the strange story of Gil Perez might make you think twice. Perez was a Spanish soldier stationed in the Philippines during the early years of Spanish colonial rule. He served as a palace guard for the Gobernador General. On a fateful day in October 1593, General Gomez Perez das Marinas was assassinated by Chinese pirates during an expedition, leading to a power struggle for his seat. Perez, standing guard at the palace, suddenly felt an overwhelming sense of dizziness and fatigue. He leaned against a wall and closed his eyes for a moment. When he opened them, he found himself in a completely different location, Plaza Mayor in Mexico City, thousands of miles away from where he had just been. Dressed in his Filipino uniform, Perez quickly drew attention and was brought before the authorities. When questioned by the Viceroy of New Spain, Luis de Velasco, Perez recounted the events that led to his mysterious teleportation, describing the assassination of the general and the subsequent power struggle. Despite his detailed and accurate account, Perez was imprisoned on suspicion of witchcraft or demonic influence. Two months later, a ship arrived from the Philippines, confirming the news of the general's assassination and Perez's sudden disappearance. The crew recognized Perez and confirmed that he had indeed been missing. With this verification and his good behavior in jail, Perez was eventually sent back to the Philippines. Centuries later, the mystery of Gil Perez's teleportation remains unexplained, leaving many to wonder whether his experience was a case of miraculous transportation or something else entirely. Number 2. The Pollock Twins – A Case of Reincarnation Reincarnation is a concept that has fascinated and puzzled people for centuries, and the story of the Pollock Twins is one that might make you reconsider your stance on the subject. In May 1957, Joanna and Jacqueline Pollock, aged 11 and 6, were tragically killed in a car accident on their way to church in Hexham, England. The sisters were struck by a car driven by a woman who had been forcibly separated from her children and was attempting to end her own life. The accident left their parents, John and Florence Pollock, devastated. However, the story took a strange turn when Florence became pregnant again. Despite having no family history of twins and doctors predicting a single birth, John was convinced that Florence would give birth to twin girls who would be reincarnations of their deceased daughters. Their conviction was so strong that it nearly threatened their marriage. Astonishingly, Florence gave birth to twin girls, Jillian and Jennifer, in October 1958. Though identical, the twins had different birthmarks that matched those of their deceased sisters. Jennifer had a small birthmark on her left hip, similar to Jacqueline's, and another on her forehead, just like the scar Jacqueline had from an accident at age three. As the twins grew, they began to recall details about the town of Hexham, where they had never lived and recognized places and toys associated with their late sisters. The girls even recalled the accident that killed Joanna and Jacqueline, despite never being told about it. The memories and similarities faded as the twins reached the age of five, but the story remains one of the most compelling cases for reincarnation, leaving many to wonder whether these twins were truly the reincarnations of their sisters or if something else entirely was at play. Number 1. The Babushka Lady, a witness to history. The babushka, a common headscarf, became a central element in one of the most intriguing mysteries surrounding the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. On November 22, 1963, as the president's motorcade made its way through Dealey Plaza in Dallas, Texas, shots rang out and Kennedy was fatally wounded. Amid the chaos, one woman stood out in the crowd, a woman wearing a babushka, who appeared in several photographs and film recordings of the assassination. Dubbed the Babushka Lady, she was seen holding a camera, possibly capturing critical footage of the event. After the shots were fired, the Babushka Lady was seen crossing the street and joining the crowd before disappearing without a trace. Neither the woman nor the footage she might have taken has ever been identified, adding to the mystery. In any other situation, a woman wearing a babushka might not seem significant, 
But considering the geopolitical tensions of the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union, her presence has fueled countless conspiracy theories. Some have speculated that the babushka lady could have been a Russian spy, given the timing of the assassination and the tension between the superpowers. Others believe she might have captured crucial evidence of the shooting that could have altered the course of the investigation. Despite numerous efforts to identify her, including public appeals and extensive searches, the babushka lady remains an enigma, leaving many to wonder who she was and what, if anything, she saw through her camera lens on that fateful day. Who's the most mysterious person you've ever met? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time.